Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this foaming creamy shampoo. This shampoo is natural and it doesn't strip your hair off. It's natural oil. It's very light on the hair. If you've not used um, a light shampoo before, a foaming shampoo, this will be your first time of this should be your first time of trying it, and you will love it. And let me know in the comment section how you feel after using this shampoo. Let's start. Let's get started. So to make this foaming um, natural hair shampoo, I'll first of all um, measure out my ingredient. The first ingredient I'm measuring here is my distilled water. This distilled water will serve as my base for this foaming shampoo. So after measuring out this distilled water, the next is to place it in a double boiler and to make sure the water um, gets hot. If you don't have a thermometer, you can just make sure once it's very hot, then you bring it out. But here I'm using a thermometer. I will check the temperature once it gets to 120 degree Fahrenheit, then I'll bring it out um, from the heat. And the next um, ingredient I'm measuring out is my cream base after I'm um, checking the heat of this distilled water. Now is my cream base. This cream base will serve as a solubilizer in this um, shampoo and um, it will help um, combine the oils and the water. The purpose of this cream base is not to thicken this. Um, um, shampoo just to com combine the oils and, and water together knowing that um, water and oil doesn't um, mix well so this the work of this um, 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 cream base will be to combine the both, both the oils and the water and after I'm um, heating up my distilled water then the first ingredient that I added is my sexmonium chloride sexmonium chloride is a detangler is a conditioner and that's the purpose it will serve in this um, a shampoo. Then at this point, I added my cream base into my distilled water, and I'm going to start blending. Combine the oils and the waters together. So at this point, after mixing it, I'll keep that aside and measure out my surfactant. The first one, I'm, the first surfactant I'm using here is my SCI powder this is a mild surfactant it's used in baby um washes and it's very mild on the skin it doesn't um irritate it goes with every um almost all the all skin types so i'm going to use it and for this um surfactant this is the brand i used and in this video so i'm showing you um the brand i use in making this and the next surfactant i'm using is my coco Beaten. and here is also the brand and the third surfactant i'm using here is one of the controversial um, surfactant that's S SLS. Um, here, yeah, there's a long story um, as regards to this surfactant. But however, if you don't have this, use cocoa um, glucoside or um, deco glucoside to make to replace this um, surfactant. And if you don't know how to use it, um, however, in my next video, I'm going to um, upload the video on how I mixed it and the percentage I use that will allow me to um, use it in a natural product so um, stay tuned for that video and if you want me to upload it earlier than I proposed just let me know in the comment section I'm going to upload the video and how I miss it the percentage I use in missing it that allows me to use it in this um, formulation so for the distilled water I use, I use 200 grams of distilled water and the cream base I use 15 grams of um, cream base and um, if you've not watched the video on how to make that cream base, please go back and click the link below to watch the cream base video. So at this point, I'm now adding the surfactant into the um, distilled water mixture and the way I added the cream base and I'm going to mix it. At this point, you notice that it will loosen up and it will not be as thick as you saw it before. Then I'll keep mixing. Then after mixing it together, the next I'll start adding other ingredient that comes with it. So here's the brand I use for my centrimonial chloride I just showed here in this video. And the next step is to mix my glycerin. And for my glycerin, I'm using I'm mixing my glycerin and my xanthan gum together. Here's a one gram of xanthan gum. 
I'm using one gram of one gram of xanthan gum and eight grams of this um, of glycerin, and I'm going to mix it together to combine it. The work the glycerin is a humectant; it draws water from the atmosphere to the hair, and the work of the xanthan gum is to help thicken a little this um um foaming shampoo. And remember, it's not to thicken it to the point. This is a foaming shampoo and it's going to be lighter than the regular shampoo. So after mixing my xanthan gum and my glycerin, I'm going to, at this point, I'm adding it into the um, shampoo mixture. And after adding it, I'm going to mix very well. So at this point, after adding my xanthan gum, I noticed um, there are some lumps in it and I moved it with my immersion blender. And this, if you can, avoid this step because with blending it will make it lather so well that you have to keep it for a while before adding other things, even before pouring it into um, your bottle. So however, I'm going to leave it since I've done it already. So now I've added my vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil will serve as an antioxidant to the shampoo. And after my vitamin E, the next I added is my preservative. I used Liquid German Plus. For this, I used 2 grams of Liquid German Plus and 2 grams of vitamin E oil. And I'm going to mix after adding these two. Then the next is my fragrance oil. And you can use any essential oil of choice. Um, thus, I use um, baby powder fragrance for this. So guys, at this point, after mixing this ingredient together, the code and feed, I'm going to transfer it into my um, sterilized bottle and the pump. Um, this is a different bottle because this, remember this is a foaming shampoo. So it's not on the regular bottle. This is what it looks like when you press on the pump. It brings out the foam instead of the normal liquid. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you got to this point, this is the um the shampoo your foaming natural hair shampoo is ready um if you have any questions don't forget to um, drop your question in the comment section i'll be there to answer here are the ingredients i use thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye